There's a planet just four light years away that could potentially support life. I want to go to there. You may remember in a previous episode I talked about Proxima b, a planet orbiting the Goldilocks zone of the star Proxima Centauri. It's the closest planet outside of our own solar system where life might possibly exist, but four light years away is still really far. It's the distance light, you know, the fastest stuff in the universe, can travel in four years. If we decided we wanted to take a hop on over to Proxima b using boring old conventional rockets, we'd be in for quite the road trip. It would take tens of thousands of years for us to get there. Consider for a moment that the written word is less than 10,000 years old and you realize a journey to Alpha Centauri star system would take longer than the entire recorded history of humans. Yikes. But you may also remember I mentioned a group that was interested in sending very tiny probes to the Alpha Centauri system, and that these probes could get there in much less time. The group is called Breakthrough Starshot, and their approach is to develop hundreds of small spacecraft far too tiny to carry a person. The spacecraft would have some very basic sensors and optics. Instead of using rockets for propulsion, they'd use light sails. A large laser array on Earth would provide the energy the sails would use to propel the craft to Alpha Centauri. Once they reached top speed, these spacecraft would be moving at 20% the speed of light. That means they'd get to our neighbors in about 20 years. But there are a couple of problems with this idea. One is that it'll be really expensive. Another is that the spacecraft won't be able to slow down to take a look at things. They'll have to snap some images as they zoom past the star system at 59,958,000 meters per second. So it's kind of like going on a road trip to Mount Rushmore, only dad won't stop the car. So you will have to take pictures out the window while he drives at top speed. Meanwhile, researchers have published a proposal in the Astrophysical Journal Letters outlining an alternative approach. Their idea involves a larger, though also unmanned, spacecraft with a truly enormous light sail stretching 100,000 square meters. The light sail would harness light from stars, not a laser on Earth. That eliminates the price tag for an expensive laser array, though constructing such a thin, large light sail would cost a pretty penny on its own. And there's another trade-off. The journey to Alpha Centauri would take longer. I'm talking about 100 years. Once the starship is close to the stars Alpha Centauri A and B, it can steer toward an orbit around Proxima B. That will take another half century. So all told, we're talking about a 150 year journey once someone builds the thing. And wait, it gets worse. The researchers are relying upon a specific configuration of the three stars in the Alpha Centauri system. This configuration happens every 80 years. The next one is in 2035, but that's too soon for us to design and build this hypothetical spacecraft. That means the earliest we could start the 150 year trek to Proxima b would be 2115. It's a tough sell. I mean, you're asking people to put money, time, and effort into a project they won't live to see the end of, barring some medical breakthrough that extends our lifespans dramatically. You'll know that humans will have a chance to get a closer look at Proxima b as the spacecraft orbits the planet for years, but it won't be you. It's a bit of a bummer. On the other hand, not everything we do should be about our own benefit, but the benefit of those who follow behind us. That's a real big part of forward thinking. We need to consider how we can best help future generations. And perhaps sending a ship out to Proxima b could be one of those actions. So this leads me to a question for you guys. Let's say you're filthy rich and you love space. Would you prefer to invest your money in a plan that would get an unmanned spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system by 2065, but it would only be there for a heartbeat? Or would you rather spend money developing a starship that will spend much more time in the system, but won't get there until 2265? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not hit that button and uh, subscribe to the channel to join the forward-thinking think tank. See you guys in the future.